YouTube, it's Zadoish TCG here and welcome to another TCG online match. First of all, I have some shoutouts to do. We have, of course, Loin. He gives the gives me stuff uh, time by time. Actually, when he gets some playable stuff, he uh, passes it on to me so I can test some certain cards out. So thanks a lot for that. Then we have uh, Skull Circle TCG. He gave me like a ton of codes. Actually, like I believe it was like. Uh, 28 or something codes because a subscriber of his uh, actually gave him some codes and he passed them on to me so thanks a lot Skull Circle TCG I also made a um, collab video on my channel with him so check that out and then we have Beatboxer Jet giving me like a various amount of codes about 17 like team decks I already opened the Fennekin one up uh, that's not that interesting but still he also gave me like a code for Lugia IX yeah, a promo card of course and then Evil Tall and then some certain boosters like Legendary Treasures and so on so Let's just open up these awesome packs in this video. We start with Legendary Treasures and we open it up and we have... Actually, this one is uh, Cedric Juniper. <laughs> I haven't played that, that one yet. Other than that, it's not anything that spectacular. Uh, we have the Chinchino. Here we have uh, Voltorb. That's the only thing. And now let's go to X and Y. X and Y starts off with a wow, Muscle Band. In real life, I had a really hard time getting those. Also, Red Card is sweet to test out. Here we have a DCE on a Team Flare Run, not that bad. Next we open up, we, wow, we have a Xerneas EX Full Art. So another uh, EX card that we pull, so that's great. Also this card is neat, I talked about it in, uh, actually in the previous episode, episode 80. Let's open another one up. Here we have Fighting Energy, looks like the... Uh, yeah, we have, here we have Raichu. The thing I was going to say, actually Fairy Garden as well, the number of put packs doesn't go down, so it's like a glitch. I can open things up forever, probably. Let's see in this video. Otherwise, the title will be different. It won't be a TCG Online match. It would just be like a glitch in TCG Online where we open up a ton of stuff. Evo Soda. Then we have nothing that uh, great. Another Swallow here. Uh, Fairy Garden. Evil is all the regular one. Great. Oh yeah, they disappear. So the count didn't go down, but yeah, we did. However, get a full art ex Xerneas. So now let's go into Flash Fire. Here we have yeah, Banary. Looks like they don't disappear. They only disappear when uh, they're all gone. Here we have uh, Pyroar. Wow, I still have to test out Pyroar on the TCG Online program. So that's great. Also Litleo in combination with that. Here we have Lysander, Quillfish, so let's check out what Quillfish does, it's actually, uh, if it's uh, damaged by an opponent's deck, put two damage counters on it, so not that bad, let's do another pack, wow, Mega Kangaskhan EX in this pack, ladies and gentlemen, still have to test that deck out as well, the Fairy Garden deck with a Mega Kangaskhan in there, so here we have a Gudra, let's check out Gudra, as often as you like, if you discard an energy, you heal 60 damage from this Pokemon, so could be sweet. Next pack, um, Milotic, Skun Tank, not anything that spectacular, and in this pack we have Sacred Ash. And now let's go into Furious Fist, I'm actually going fast with these packs since we already have seen the most uh, stuff from these packs. Wow, another Lucario EX, so uh, actually getting EXs in every single set except for Legendary Treasures. So Lucario, another one. Here we have, wow, Secret Rare Mega Heracross EX. Holy crap, I'm actually having a lot of luck with Furious Fist this time around. Looking for some Dragonite. People suggested that I have to test out a Dragonite deck, so also Magmortar or something. Uh, here we got the Great Bear deck as well. Uh, Aurora's Herbal Energy and a Politoed. Another Politoed, maybe you could test that deck out as well. Magmortar with Landers in there. Here we have Sylveon. Uh, Jinx here with Strong Energy. Not anything. Okay, that was all for the packs, and now let's go to the deck list first. I actually, just made the deck as we speak. It's uh, called the Neuvern. Let's see where is it standing. Speed Lugia. Here we have Neuvern. So let's uh, take a closer view at the deck. We play with uh, Neuvern. I only played three of those since I didn't have the space to actually use uh, more. We had uh, three uh, regular Evil Tolls as our great starter to actually give some energy acceleration. Then a 3 1 2 line of uh, Dusknor, one Muna. It's really great, you'll see that in this video. And then we have Evil Toll EX, Computer Search, and actually the rest is uh, you can de definitely see. Um, I don't know if you can see the entire list, so let's just put it back at this. So for the trainers, 
just some standard stuff. The thing I noticed is that uh, I play Fighting Stadium, actually Training Center, for my uh, Noiverns to have more HP as well as my Dust Norse. I actually play Sparkling Rope and combination with Muna, you'll see that later. Actually, to actually uh, the Noivern has the ability to actually keep him alive. Uh, they have to flip a coin of heads to prevent that damage if they sleep. It's also difficult uh, for my opponent to uh, damage me, actually. So now let's go on to another great match in this video. Let's just select random battle, ranked, and then we play actually with our Neuvern deck. Alright guys, we're just gonna click on play now and see what opponent faces us in this matchup. I uh, am playing the Neuvern Dustnor deck, it sounds silly but it can actually work and we'll see how good it actually is in this battle. So, I'm facing someone and that's uh, Equator or actually something like that and I'm gonna just say heads, hopefully I can start. Yes, that's the case. So we can start. That's actually a great thing since we won't attack on turn one. But we do have the great evil tall star. We play three of those, so we have that going for us. Now we're gonna place a Noibet down, and it's our turn. So we just attach uh, Darkness Energy to Evil Tall. We're facing Mewtwo EX here, so we're gonna use Shauna, which is a great supporter, getting us five cards, and we get another Noibet as a, well as a laser. So there we go. And uh, that's actually gonna be our first turn. So that'll be it. And, uh, the opponent wakes up, so he will be able to use X Ball if he has the DCE in hand. The thing you should know is that we want to have Disnar out as well. Now, with Evil Toe, if we top back like a Darkness Energy, we can discard it with Juniper and then get uh, it from the discard pile to our Noibets, which will evolve to uh, uh, the Noiverns. Yeah. So these little bats here will evolve soon. He light centers out a regular Noibat, which is not great. So we have the Noivern, but we won't evolve this one. Or maybe we can do that. We also have an ability, right? So our ability states it's an echo location. If any damage done to it, uh, we can flip a coin of heads. We prevent the damage, which is great. We're going to use Juniper here. It's a shame that we have to discard our Dust Nor, but still, we have a, a Darkness Energy. Which we can give to the other Neuvern. And now we are just going to have to... I don't want to discard a rare candy, but I think we have to in this situation since we are going to use N later. So we're going to Ultra Ball for a Duskull. Actually not a Duskull. Let's just use the combination. We're going to use Muna here. And uh, with Muna we are going to put my opponent to sleep. Or try to, so he's asleep and we end our turn. So. He stays asleep, which is great. If you wind up, waked up and wanted to attack, they also had to flip a coin, so it's kind of like a troll deck, as you can see. So my opponent have to ban has to ban some Pokemon, otherwise he will lose. And with that, we can use uh, the Boom Burst attack later on with our Noivern. Uh, so he's going to use Juniper. He's actually playing a Politoed deck, which is kind of strange. But we'll see if it works. So he is still asleep, which is awesome. Now we're gonna attach a Darkness Energy to this Noibat and we're gonna use N and Combination. So, there we go. We have the Psychic Energy, so next turn we can use the awesome attack. Boom Burst. If he benches more Pokemon, it'll be terrific. So, that's my opponent's move and he is still asleep. Uh, if he went to wake up, we have Muna to actually do some stuff. So, he's gonna use the Starling Megaphone. Getting rid of my muscle band, which is uh, kind of great since we do want to have the, uh, the sparkling rope on our uh, Neuverns. He also uses Max Potion. But he is still asleep, so he... Actually, I don't know what the hell he's doing. He also discards some cards, and he's going to get out another Pokemon, so... Great, I guess. He has the poly Poliwag. And he uses Juniper, so we'll see how good it actually is when there's a lot of Pokemon benched. And he say he's still asleep, so we can uh, continue on uh, attaching an energy to our Neuvern first. There we go. Next up, we want to use... Uh, we have the energy attachment for the turn, so we're going to use Pokemon Fan Club. And get out two Duskulls, since we want to have the Dustnor out as well. So one Duskull, and that's two. We're just gonna end it at that. If he wakes up this turn, no, oh, he can't attack. <laughs> so it's kind of the troll drag, as I said, with uh, echo location. My opponent isn't able to do anything. 
Also, I want to have like another match with this deck since I'm not playing a really, really competitive deck. I'm playing like a, uh, also a rogue deck. It's the Polito deck, but he has a, a kind of a slow start and he's asleep turn after turn. We can't complain, can we? But uh, we also place the Voltorb in there for some more draw power with Electro probably. So he's evolving uh, slowly to the Poliwhirl, also Muscle Band to that, and he attaches energy to that uh, Poly. So he's using N, which is great. We can get out our... Um, Someone, hopefully. He switches around and goes for the Poly Whirl. Poly Whirl will be able to deal 40 damage if he actually can strike me with it because we have echolocation. We also have the switch in hand. Whoa, he's doing some crazy stuff here. And he does uh, he actually doesn't deal anything since we have echolocation. So the thing we do now actually is to just use Sparkling Rope on this Noivern. Then we switch him around with... Yeah, with a simple switch. So he has the Sparkling Rope and combination. We already build him up. So we're gonna attach another uh, energy to this Noivern. And actually, we're gonna Lysander out the Pokemon that... Uh, or we can use Hypnotoxic Laser again. Or we can use computer search actually to have let's just uh, use the professor's letter getting darkness energy another darkness energy so two darkness energies we are gonna use the hip the computer search to discard one energy and another energy actually we can get them back with evil tall so that's not uh, bad and with computer search we can search something out we can ha go for the dusk or we can just use go for the team flare grunt. I think we're gonna go for that one Gonna go for team flare grunt discarding that DCE So let's see what is in my discard pile So we discarded the DCE already now we're gonna use the um, Hypnotoxic laser my opponent is asleep and we can just continue on with boom burst dealing 30 damage to every Pokemon on the field from my opponent and the Mewtwo wakes up, but he doesn't have the DCE, and we did a ton of damage with Echo Location. Uh, actually, with Boom Burst. So, he does have the energy, the DCE, so we are kind of screwed. If he flips, if I flip Tails, actually, so he has to attack, there's a chance that he won't be able to attack, which is great. So, another Juniper coming our way. Actually, so he's getting 7 cards. He actually already has a, a ton of cards. My deck still has some decent cards in it, so we have the Lysander to stall. We also have the Muna to put my opponent to sleep. We deal a lot of damage. He has poison. So, wow, they're all evolving. So, uh, Echolocation saves us once again. So, Noivern is still alive. The thing we want to do now, however, is... The retreat cost is 1. And this retreat cost is 3. So, we're gonna go for... Actually, Lysander out the Polyraph since uh, he won't be able to attack me anyway. And we're just gonna put him asleep. Long distance Hypno! No! I am asleep, but since I have the Sparkling Rope, I can't be asleep. So, he's not asleep, but we can deal Boom Burst again. Dealing some more damage on the field. We do, however, want to get out our Dust Nor soon. So, he switches around once again. And he's going for another Axe Ball. Hopefully, this time he has some better luck. Because, uh... He can attack me thanks to Echo Location. If I flip Tails, I, however, I'm knocked out immediately. Which is uh, not that great. Uh, I actually like the deck because we have some uh, damage prevention. It's uh, actually, actually, we are saved once again with Echo Location. So it's kind of a troll deck, as I said, but against the. Um, what deck is it again? The Garbodor deck is actually quite terrible because we, our abilities get locked out. So we can use Muna. Actually, we knocked out a Poly uh, World this time around. We get a prize, and it's my opponent's turn. So as I was saying, against Garbodor is really bad. So we do want to play Starling Megaphone at the right time to actually uh, destroy that item against Seismic. We're in an item lock, but still dealing 30 damage time after time is quite great. So let's continue on. My oh, oh my opponent has attached a DCE to the Mewtwo. I don't think that was a smart decision. He should have attached it to the Polyrath. 
it actually took 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So he didn't need to attach it. So uh, let's see, uh, he also uses Juniper. Maybe he, he wants to get out of Polytoad and attack for free with the Polyrath and just wanted to save that. Oh no, Echolocation failed. So our Neuvern is out of there. So he's been knocked out. It's up to Eveltal, or Eveltal, whatever you want to call him. Gonna place another Neubad down, and now we're just gonna use Oblivion Wing, 30 damage, and just give a Darkness Energy from the discard to our other Neuvern, and that'll be it. So it's my opponent's move once again, and we'll see. Actually, I wanted to have some more battles with a new deck, as you can see, so we see the Polytoad deck. It isn't that great since he doesn't have a Polytoad out, but... Still, it's not like, oh wow, another Landers matchup, oh wow, another Seismitoad matchup. Although I'm gonna play with a uh, Seismitoad deck since I have to give it an upgrade so it'll be better than ever. Maybe we can test out Muna, who knows? Muna is actually really great. A friend of mine actually uh, uh, recommended this Muna. So, Sacred Ash, he gets a ton of stuff back into um, his deck. And now he also has the Pineco, so it's kind of a strange deck my opponent is playing. I really, I know what Fortress does, he evolves it 10 damage on all of my Pokemon. So Fan Club as well, so this match is not over. Maybe we can see some more power with Neuvern since we're now dealing 30 to every Pokemon on my opponent's field, which is a lot. So uh, my Evil Tull is still not knocked out for some reason. Sparkling Rope to the Neu... Actually, I'm not gonna attach the Sparkling Rope. Maybe can attach it or maybe not. We do want to have the Dusk Dusknor out. We don't have a supporter yet as well, so maybe we can just use Ultra Ball getting out Dusk Club. That will be great. But I'm just gonna go for the Sparkling Rope for now. And now we are only going to knock out this Mewtwo. Yes. And another energy to Noiba. So that's how it works. Evil Tall is our stall Pokemon. Being able to deal some damage and build up our Neuburns on the bench. So two prizes this time. Awesome. We also run an Evil Toll DX in case there's something situational going on that we can't win anymore. Building up an Evil Toll and then BAM! Dealing more damage. So it's my opponent's move. He does have the two. Wow! 10 damage to all of my Pokemon. As you see that was um, automatically. And I'm gonna go for this Neuvern. I don't think he will have a... Uh, the, oh, he has the Evo Soda, so he has another Poliwhirl out. He doesn't have the Politoad out yet, so he also has Colorus, wow. If he has Rare Candy and a Politoad, I'm actually quite done for it, probably. Or not. Hmm. This match still goes on, it's quite a long battle video, but yeah, I wanted to show this guy out. He's saying, whoops. So, we are here with our Eveltal EX. I'm actually not gonna do that because otherwise he'll get a 2 prize knockout. We're gonna build up another Neuvern using the Ultra Ball, discarding the Eveltal EX. And getting out... Actually, we can't get out anything. We have to end right away. Our Dusclops are priced. Or actually, our, our only Dusclops is priced. So we're gonna just gonna use this N. Hopefully... Oh no, we get just a DCE. Uh, the Muna can be helpful. He says he likes the Sparkling Rope plus the Muna combo, so... Thanks. So, as I said, I'm actually gonna upload this uh, battle to my channel to show it off. Since I don't have a lot of time, but I still wanted to have a great match for you guys. Uh, showing off the Neuvern deck. So, 30 damage, all the Pokemon of my opponent get some damage thanks to the Boom Burst. There we go. And my opponent is still asleep thanks to Muna. He says, haha, I thought I recognized you. Awesome. So, it's my opponent's move again. And he has the Politoed out, so the Poly Wrath can attack for free, but he wakes up. So, now we're just gonna use... I still don't have the Dust Clubs, or the, actually a Dust Nora. We can't do anything, so we're just gonna attach an energy to another Neuvern. So, we, as you can see, this deck can be quite fun to play with. We have some luck with Echo Location. We can put my opponent to sleep, and now we're just gonna use Boom Burst. A ton of damage. It'll be better when the uh, Dust Nora is out, but still, Neuvern alone uh, does the trick. There we go. Oh, there we have him. Dust Clubs, ladies and gentlemen. We can get him out next turn. 
So my opponents can see it from here on out. As you can see, the Neuvern did the trick. And it was another random battle. Uh, yeah, and he, he knew me already. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, um, video. I'm going to make another video with the Neuvern. I also have a great suggestion of new decks I'm going to test out for you guys. So uh, next video will probably be another deck testing out the Neuvern against the top deck like Landris or Seismito to see how it fares against that deck. And uh, as I said, uh, thanks again for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.